Uh, oatmeal, my four ounces dry, a couple eggs, eight ounces of Egg White International, 11 fruit, and a scoop of BPI. Um, and this is only until, yeah, my protein comes out a few more with days. BPI. A few more days. One, T, yeah. T minus T five, minus seven, five, eleven ish, niner. Okay. So as I went off season and got that size, um, I got up close to three hundred pounds, two hundred ninety-seven. Um, and then what I did is, from a overload of surplus of calories, I, I backed it down a little bit and cleaned it up. My body sped up even more. Um, now, relative, they don't know this, but relative to where we were dieting before, it was a heck of a lot more food. Like the Blitz diet? Yeah. Yeah. Like 17 times as much food. <laughs> now, they may not understand that because they'll go, well, wouldn't you just go a little bit? Wouldn't you go a little bit? But we had the opportunity, or I did, to really go off season. And old you, school. Like and you hadn't had an off season in two years, which we do not advise. Exactly. It, that's the biggest note of this whole thing. Do as we say, not as we do yeah. in a sense. Well, your life isn't, his, his whole life is fueled by this body. So he's on stage, he's at conferences, he's doing all these things that demand he stay in a certain type of shape. So for two years, Mike and Mona have been cracking the whip trying to build something. So for two years, he was grinding in a way that I'm like, Mike, pull it back, pull it back. He pulled it back and his body is healed masterfully. Um, so with that being said, I went from this complete surplus to a surplus um, and now I'm going to clean it up a little bit more but what I'm going to do is the logic of understanding where I want to finish not where I need to go to and what that means is at this stage when I finish this diet I will not go below 150 grams hmm. I just won't do it so then I have to gauge from that finishing point be more specific 150 grams of uh, like three cups of rice would be somewhat close to that level. carbs yep so sorry 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 yes carbs I thought you guys yeah. that was my bad because we talk about protein and you know we're both high protein guys no matter where we're at in our diet exactly so instead of us gauging where I need to go to now to tighten up I'm gonna say I can't go past this level down here so I'm going to just take the carbs back down a little bit up here so it gives me so much more room down here. Um, and the reason to do that is because we talk about this, and you say this to me every single time, you're best at 270 on stage. Well, yeah, because you look like, nobody else can look like you at, at 270 to 275. You're just, you're just a different human. So that's going to be the goal this time, is so I come back slower. So what I did is this. I removed a little bit of stuff, correlated my carbs and proteins in a better utilization way. So we got my oatmeal instead of my sweet little, uh, um, what are those crackers called that you give me? Those things are awesome. <laughs> but I removed that, which is probably, Pop it's okay for you guys to have that, um, but I cleaned it up. I separated my eggs, um, I went up in protein on the international, and I split my uh, fruit from evenings to mornings. That's all I did. I didn't change the fruit intake. I just changed it from evenings to mornings. And we got so this is the and... this is the same count. You're just taking it from p.m. to a.m. Or did you are you doing exactly. the half in the a.m. half in the p.m. It's just all in the a.m. All in the a.m. Gotcha. in the mornings. So all I did was change where I'm placing my foods and utilizing it in a better position during the morning so I can burn it off during the day. And then I cleaned up just a slight bit. Same calories, but just a different kind of carbohydrate. So there we go, that is meal one right here. I'm gonna throw this down and we'll get started for the whole day and you guys will see this and you'll understand the process and then you'll be able to see this. I'll stay this for the next couple of weeks as we tighten up. You gonna share? No sharing. We okay. do not share with food. We know this. Uh, <laughs> you better turn that off because someone's gonna get an ass whipping. Head up. That's your sample? Yeah, that's my sample. We're gonna send that to the lab we're later, gonna, huh? Move that out of the way. All right, guys, just so you understand, this is uh, meal two. This is after my tricep workout. I'm going to work out twice today. We do triceps, and we're going to do biceps later. Now, again, today's discussion or my example on what I'm doing on myself is teaching you how I will take out calories or put in calories during a uh, off-season. So, we got this. We got, uh, again... First and foremost, two gallons of water a day for me. I'm a big boy, but for all of you Monas, 145 pounds ripped to the bone, about a gallon, a gallon and a half, or definitely a gallon. 
Here's another four ounces. Um, again, this is more of my plain carbs relative to the, uh, I guess the rice cakes and um, pop chips I was doing earlier. If you guys uh, have seen those in earlier videos. Again, those are great carbs, mostly if you're off season, you're enjoying it. Another 11 ounces of my um, fruit. And again, remember, I was doing this at night, so I only changed the time I'm doing this. You guys saw before, four eggs. I'm still doing the four eggs, but I'm splitting them. And instead of the bread, I'm doing the oatmeal. And then we got over here my egg whites, international egg whites. Now, I did go up in these because I split the 10, um, 10 eggs to 16. So I'm doing eight and eight. So let's go. Now, again, this is after my workout. So I got this. Oatmeal. Scoop of this protein until my protein comes out. When? Next week. Next week. Bye. -ya. Now we're going to throw in a couple extra things here. Whoo, there's a winner. Where's the glutamine, mama? Where's the glutamine? Am I oh, blind? Oh, jeez, right, right in front of my eyes. Yeah. That's what happens when you hit 50. <laughs> the eyesight's going, guys. All right, so little branch chains. Boom. Again, this is what works for me, guys. Especially, I noticed, and this is why the diet changed, so you fully understand why the diet changed. See if you can grab that, Momo. Mm -hmm. So I noticed I was um, hungrier. So why wouldn't I take the calories up? if I was hungry. Well, because even though I'm in a surplus, I'm still gonna slice down a little bit. But again, my range of motion here is this. Uh, I am not gonna go below 150 grams on this diet. So I'm gonna keep more size. Let me see. Kill that. All right. Then we got, good? Mm -hmm. Some EAs, oh, got my glutamine. Again, one scoop is enough for you guys. Uh, for me, I'll do two to three scoops, 15 grams. Boom. Here it is. Uh, Water in this bad boy. So this is meal two, and we're gonna show you all the meals today. Uh, whole eggs, just two of them, and then my uh, fruit, Piedmontese steak. So I'm going to do uh, three servings, and I'll stay with those. Those are already clean, also very lean. So I'll do those three ounce, uh, three meals, eight ounces, and a cup of rice. Those don't change. And then I also keep my protein shake in during the day with my flaxseed and my wheat germ, my joint support, and my collagen. So that won't change. So that's the day's nutrition. It didn't change a lot, but watch over the next two weeks on how much I change from that because the stuff that you have to listen to as you are listening to your body is how your body's reacting to the food you're on. I was listening to my body and I'm starting to get hungrier, so it's working even more. So I'm gonna make a deficit, even a little bit more from just a small amount of change, still taking on a lot of calories, but a small change, and then I'm gonna do a second workout during the day. Today, it's just biceps. Tomorrow I'll probably just do some ab work and lower back and I'll stay on that uh, ab work and lower back and some decompression stuff. And those will be the second workout. So I took the exercise up just a little bit, nutrition down a little bit and watch the change. And this is my nutrition plan. I had eight egg whites with some turkey in it. And only, I cut back, only three slices of bread a day with cheese, whole eggs, and ham. Uh, we're changing my diet today, right? <laughs> well, I thought we were. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I thought we were going to go down, but I guess you went up. <laughs> I guess I'm on a gain program. <laughs> if I didn't talk about this in the last one, um, instead of the oatmeal, I was having like some pop chips, um, some uh, fun, fun food. Again, low fat. Gluten-free on these bad boys. These are just rice cakes and flavored. So uh, this is what I was going to do 
or was doing when I was uh, really putting the size on to get a 300. But now that I'm tightening up moderately, uh, the change up here was just basically from this to oatmeal, which calorie wise is around the same. It's just a, a better carbohydrate with a low glycemic oatmeal. That being said, timing is everything because I was doing this pretty much right before bed to help me sleep better. <clears throat> Carbohydrates help you sleep, if you guys didn't know. That being said, also the change up is I dropped the ham um, and then I moved again, I have to say this again, just for you guys that are really slow on this process, I moved the fruit from bedtime to in the morning before and after the workout. So that's all the changes I did. And so you fully understand what I'm doing is I'm listening to my body. I first forced my body to take in a large amount of calories. That was the first thing I did. So I went from dieting down, um, depleted, to a high calorie intake, but forcing my body to utilize those calories. Now I know a lot of you guys will go, well, I need to go to just a little bit more, which is fine and that's what I teach you guys to do. But also for you youngsters, your body is capable of doing so much more than you can believe it can do. And I know when I was a youngster, the amount of food I ate uh, was incredible. That's how I got all my size. So again, at this age, I still did the same thing. I, uh, the belief here to me is that I made my body trust me again. Listen, I'm gonna exercise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these carbohydrates that I'm forcing you to eat and my body will use them. It put all the mu memory muscle back on me and then also brought that strength back. And now I'm just gonna tailor it back to slowly, slowly, slowly. Hopefully you guys fully understand this. Again, I'll talk about this as the weeks go on and I continue to diet. One question. Yes. Why do you still have the Christmas tree up back there? The Christmas tree's gotta stay up. It's gotta stay up, man. It is at the end of April. It is the end of April and the Christmas tree will be staying up until November and then it'll come down for a week and then it'll go right back up. Thank you for only keeping one up. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> we are live. Oh, E, K2, uh, Zinc, D, and DHEA, and a little uh, sea biscuit. And a little something, something. <laughs> Saw what I did there? All right, next meal. What are we doing? No, stop. Uh, 12 ounces, skip the 13. Boom, boom. All right, we got most of this stuff set up. Okay, oil. Oh, let me just uh, fix this for a second. Booyah, whoop. All right, a little collagen action, a little joint support. All right, now you saw earlier I was doing one scoop. Here I will do two scoops. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, a little flaxseed. Again, a lot of the stuff I'm doing is just healthy for the body. It's great for your body to have that in there. And just, well, yeah. The great thing about that too is, as you're dieting, these are just little things that I can take out as I get closer to stage. And you'll get even more sliced. I mean, obviously, the more of a deficit you go in as you go in, or more room you have in a deficit that you can keep going, the keep you can get leaner, 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 leaner. So obviously, that's the way it goes. Unfortunately, if you start out at a thousand calories and a hundred grams of carbs, you don't have that much to cut. So you really don't have a lot of range to go. And that's what I find with most people is they come to me and they go, "Hey, I want to get in shape." All right, you're you're fat. And you're also only eating twice a day. So where are we going? So we got to correct everything first. And so I did it for myself. I corrected it, even though I've been doing this forever, because I was in a deficit, you hurt yourself when you're in a deficit. And so I had to correct it for myself. And then now I can continue to move forward.
skin off the mess. <laughs> All right, there you go. So you want some of that? Mm -hmm. Titan and the wolves. All right, guys, we are doing my next meal. We just did our second workout. You guys will enjoy this bicep action. Again, today's that big day that I changed the nutrition. Right here, I've got ground beef. And here's the great thing. I'm gonna give you this for your eyesight, boys. You read that, Jeffrey? All right, all right. So that's what I'm doing right now. I am doing one pound, and then I will do another eight ounces after this in a couple hours. It's five o'clock, I'll have a next meal around seven o'clock. Then I'll cut it, and I'll probably go to bed around nine o'clock. So a lot changed. But if you notice, the stuff that changed was times I'm eating certain foods. See, he loves, Sir, he loves his toy. <laughs> times he's eating. You know, he loves mom. Um, I love the toy too. <laughs> but I love Piedmont tea steak so much. So with this being said, I took fruit at the night, put it in the morning. I spread out the meals more in the morning around training. I upped the training a little bit. So all these changes to the nutrition do so much more. And then here's the great thing. For me to cut up, I have so much room to continue to cut up and slice up with keeping my calories higher, which is the important part. That way I don't slice down to 240. This time I slice down to maybe 270. That's a change. Thanks guys, enjoy the day. And again, is it right here? Right here? Oh. Who are you laughing at that? Steak is my last meal here. Uh, three meals of steak, eight ounces, cup of rice, two hours apart, bedtime in another three hours. That is it. Enjoy the day.